Hey guys, Luke here. Thought I would do a whiskey comparison today. Uh, I got an email from Al Alvarez asking if I could do a comparison of Lagavulin 16 year old and Ardbeg Ubudal. And I can. So this is for you, Al. Um, I don't have a full bottle of Ardbeg Ubudal. This is the last of my Ardbeg Ubudal in my little uh, Boston round. Um, didn't want it to oxidize, so I transferred it to a smaller bottle. But um, it's the same as the real thing. So uh, here we go. Um, Ardbeg Ugadal is one of Ardbeg's core whiskeys. It's uh, it's sort of a higher than higher level than the, the ten year old. Um, there's the Ardbeg ten year old, the Ardbeg Ugadal, and the Ardbeg um, Corey Vrecken, you know, the core the core Ardbegs. And then Lagavulin sixteen is basically Lagavulin's. Um, main offerings is what you'll see in the store most of the time. Uh, difference, differences, uh, Lagavulin 16 is colored and chill filtered. Ardbeg Ugadal is neither of those. It's natural colored and unchill filtered. So that'll probably make a difference uh, as, we, as we go along here. Uh, color wise, <coughs> the Lagavulin, it's colored. It's colored up to uh, amber plus two. And Ardbeg is color is not colored, not colored, and it is also about amber plus two. Um, these are very close. The Lagavulin, the Lagavulin is slightly. This is the Lagavulin, slight, a little bit of uh, a red in there. So I'm going to start with the Lagavulin. These are both whiskeys that I, the La I couldn't find specific information, but I'm pretty sure the Lagavulin has some sherry casks involved in the maturation. Ardbeg Ugadal does for sure. Uh, and then they also have the usual American uh, oak involved. So nose, already I can smell kind of like blueberry, raspberry smell coming off of this. The smoke is well balanced with the sweetness. It's strong, but it feels like it's about right. It's kind of creamy vanilla smokiness. So the bourbon maturation, I think, is coming through pretty well. But it just has a real, it has a really nice body to it. Quite thick smelling. I think it takes a little time to open up. I'm not getting it right now, but it does. You end up with like some coconut and uh, licorice. Getting the licorice a little bit. The smoke, it's hard to get through the smoke. Uh, so if you add a little water, which I will in a minute here, you'll get a little bit more of the bourbon maturation kind of characteristics. Very nice. Nice, sweaty, leathery, um, heavy kind of, kind of notes as well going on here. Maltiness wise, like if you were to think of uh, like a Glen Levitt, like this one number 15, which is pretty malty and sweet. There's a little bit of that here, but it's not as strong as, as the Space Cider whiskeys. Let's have a taste. Mm. So smoke, then the bourbon comes through just for a short bit. And then the smoke really builds up. It's kind of a nice little mm, mm, wavy transition there. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty sweet. I think I get a little bit of sherry there. The sherry that they're that it seems that they're doing well. Actually, in any sherry um, peated sherry whiskey that I've had, it seems that the sherry is is overcome by the smoke. But the sherry is still there, and it kind of gives the the whiskey a lot more body. Keeps it from being too, I don't know, almost feels frail. Like it doesn't have all the flavors you would expect. Let's add a little water here and go to the Ubedal. So this is bottled. That's another difference. Lagavulin is bottled at 43%. This Ubedal is bottled at 54.2%. So... Um, not, I don't believe it's actually cask strength, it, but it's it's um, high alcohol percentage. 
So Ard Bag Ugadal. So a little bit lighter body, actually. Nuttier than the Lagavulin. It has more uh, more citrus, for sure. Lagavulin has much deeper tones. Thicker smelling. There's a nice woodiness, some cedar. It does have just kind of like a high, a little bit more Highland whiskey kind of smell, where like like I guess it may, maybe it's a, like less sherry influence. It has that Ardbeg character. Um, Ardbeg Ten is uh, has quite a bit of citrus, and this does the same. Has the same thing, but still well balanced, just like a Lagavulin. Definitely not as fruity as the lager bowling. <clears throat> Let's have a taste. Mm. Now, when I say not as fruity, I mean not as um, like dried fruity or red fruity. The Ardbeg Ugadal is quite citrusy. A lot more dry smokiness. Little hot. It's bottled at fifty-four percent, so this will take some water, which means that a bottle of Ardbeg Ugadal. These are about the same price. A bottle of Ardbeg Ugadal is going to go longer, uh, last you longer if you're the kind of person who adds water. Leather is there for sure. More woody than the Lagavulin. I'm just going to add some water and come back to the maybe a little bit more. This is 54%. Okay. I need a sip of water. Yes. So there, there's more of the fruitiness coming through now. I get, I get the coconut, but it's uh, it's almost like uh, like if you were to take a coconut and crack it and let the the coconut milk run over the the furry outside of that coconut. It's kind of a little bit woody and coconutty at the same time. That, and getting some some uh, like shoe polish notes as well now. It's interesting the. The fruit is coming through more, but it, it seems less sweet with that little bit of water. A little bit less smoky, a little bit less sweet. Have another taste. Mm. Rich and thick and oily in your mouth. The smoke is very... It makes me, it makes me think of, like if you were to take a piece of, of leather and smoke it in a smoker and then chew on it. That's what Lagavulin this, this tastes like to me. The sherry influence in here does come through in the finish and then you get a little bit of that whininess, a little tannin a business going on. But it's not. It's it's quite nice. Um, very warm, a little bit sweet. Nice, um, just kind of a full-bodied smokiness. Hmm. Good. Whew. These peated whiskeys are. Uh, they take a lot out of you. Damn <laughs> this water. Be quite tiring. Okay, but delicious, of course. Mm. So the the Ugadol is is interesting. I think so. It doesn't have an age statement. It's it, it smells younger to me, and it probably is. I think um, I can't remember if I've read what the age is on this. It smells to me like 
maybe like an eight-year-old whiskey or something like that. It just does have some of that hot usefulness going on. Water doesn't really, I guess it doesn't seem like it's changed it that much. My nose is getting tired at this point, but a little bit more, the shoe polish is coming through a little bit now. But it's really, it's about the same as, as what I just smelled. Mmm. Mmm. There's the difference. Adding a little water, you get you get more of that nice, rich sweetness. A little brown sugar, but it's kind of it's still this is a very it, it's it's dry whiskey. Art bags are all they all seem to be pretty dry. As in not sweet. Smokiness on the finish has more nuttiness, more almonds in it than the Lagavulin. Hammy, a little sweet. Yeah, so the Lagavulin on the finish is like, or Lagavulin in the palate and the finish is like smoked, chewing on a piece of smoked leather, whereas the Ardbeg Udal is more like chewing on a piece of smoked ham, I would say. Mm. Okay, so conclusions <clears throat> on the Lagavulin. Uh, extremely pleasing, very rich and creamy. Um, it's, uh, it may be, let's see, what did I write? Feels like it might be too good for me. Like, I would rate this better if I was able to notice how awesome it actually was. Um, I wrote that probably six months ago. I think I still kind of agree with it, although I am, um, yeah, I kind of agree with it. I can't say more than that. I like the nose more than the taste, yes. Uh, there's a little bit of, um, the finish kind of, it's a little bit off to me on the model moment. And uh, make sure you give it time. Ardbeg Gudal. Difficult to get get past the smoke, but water does help. Uh, and it has quite a bit of depth to it. And I think the finish is better on the Ugadol. Um, so if I was to choose one, now these are both, I both rated these 90 in my in my notes. But um, if I had to choose one, I would go with the Ugadol. Um, but you can't go wrong with either one. Just saying that. Lager Bowl in 16 is an awesome whiskey. Ardbeg Ugadol is an awesome whiskey. You can pick them apart all day. And, um, you know, I mean, it's just a lot of fun. If you like smoky whiskeys, either one is good for you. But, if I had a gun to my head, Ardbeg Ugadol. And I'll leave it at that. Bye-bye.